this is Noreen Lani and I'm here at the Los Cerritos Center at the Lux Med Spa of Miss Olivia Cuido O Skin Care. And we're here to cover another exciting meet and greet session. And I'm here with the lovely Miss Universe Peru, Janique Maceda. Hi, Hi. Janique. Hi, how are you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> like blue. <laughs> Janine, oh my god, this it, is going to be so many bloopers, I love it. <laughs> Um, everyone, Janique is a second runner-up from the most recent Miss Universe beauty pageant. And Janique, you are such a crowd favorite. Hello. Everyone loves you. How Thank do you feel you. about that? I feel really grateful, to be honest, and blessed because I get to meet so many people and, and they just keep on sharing their love and their support. I got so many messages as well and, and just get to meet everyone here today was uh, a blessing, you know. Yes. It's just amazing to have so many people from around the world that they show me their love and support. The lines were so long and I got to talk to a couple of your fans. Oh, I drove from San Francisco really? and yeah, oh, they just yes. love you so much. Mm. And I can see why firsthand, like you are just so kind and genuine oh. and you know, we, we are rooting for you. We're all Thank rooting for you. you. Thank you so much. But Janique, can you share with us some memorable experiences from the beauty pageant, Miss oh. Universe? Well, we have so many. Do you want a fun one? Do you want a touching one? Any, <laughs> anything. anything. <laughs> Well, let me see if I can think about one right now. Well, I just say it with Miss uh, Rabia. Uh, this is probably my favorite experience because we used to pray together before oh. every presentation, yeah, in the line. And it was just like she said her prayer on Filipino, I say my prayer in Spanish, and then we both together um, in English, and we just hold hands, hug each other. And it's so amazing that it's like before every presentation we dedicated to to the world, to, to, to God, you know, and she was always like, she had Philippines in her heart and she was always like asking and just like giving up, giving, giving herself like mm -hmm. to make the country proud and that was so touching and, and she's such an amazing soul. I got to be next to her in the, in the dressing room. Oh, great. Yeah, so it was, it was fun and then, well, we have a lot of, uh, of fun times. I was, I remember that whenever we went out Side, I was just like running around with like <laughs> like a, like I don't know like a little cat you know <laughs> looking for the sun like oh my god this is so nice I have so many like good memories also with the uh, uh, Miss Universe Me well, Miss Universe right now Mexico she is so kind as well and we used to just have fun all yeah. the time so it was just like that it was fun moments fun experience I there's something that I want to share I didn't do a diet when I was competing <laughs> <laughs> so I was great. the one that was eating rice and potatoes and all the carbs that I can because I need energy. Uh -huh. And that's why you always seem like hyped around. <laughs> yes. Yep. Oh, and I got to see Miss O team too when they come to see us. That was fun too. You do have so much energy. I love it. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> now, aside from Miss Philippines and Miss Mexico, um, did you bond with anybody else? Like, did you I have bond, any other yes. personal favorites from the candidates? So, well, my roommate was Miss Colombia. Okay. Yes, uh, Miss Canada as well. Uh, Vietnam, Thailand, Amanda, such a sweetheart. Um, Indonesia too. We have some of the, of the European countries um, from the top of my head. Uh, Croatia, um, we also have, I don't know, I have many, many yeah. friends. Curacao, she's amazing as well. Um, Mexico, all the Latinas, Chile, Bolivia. So yeah. many. So yeah. many, <laughs> I know. We have like a like a big, uh, it's a chat that we have and we're just planning some like trips and planning like, oh yes, come here to, to this country and the other one. So that's fun, you know, that yeah. you have those connections, yeah. Speaking of like trips, what are your future plans? Like when you get back to Peru or any near future plans right now? Well, I'm coming back to Peru actually this Sunday. Oh, and okay. yeah. 
yes <laughs> I'm gonna be there a couple of weeks then I'm coming back to New York uh, just to continue with the agenda because I have to work in my country um, I keep on doing my my nonprofit I have remember that I have to run and so I'm trying to just go to different regions to mm -hmm. try to just provide uh, the help and um, uh, actually just to build more bridges between the, the organizations and the government organizations and well I'm just I don't know I think that I'm just we're gonna get surprised about the, what the future is handling for me. Yeah. I'm dying to go to the Philippines. Yeah, <laughs> I really need to go there. I always say it. I need to go to the Philippines. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they would love you. Uh, yes. Love to have you there. Yes, I would love to go there. And you guys so have so many amazing queens. I'm a big fan of Katrina and Pia. They know it. I write to them. I'm a big like crazy Aww. fan of them. <laughs> <laughs> so I was telling me so probably when I get to meet them, I'm gonna be freaking out and I'm gonna be so shy <laughs> hopefully not <laughs> but um yeah I'm just like hopefully I can just one of my goals is to be on the Philippines let's cross our finger I can be there maybe I'll go in September who knows you know is that a good season to be mm -hmm. there well rainy no August is usually rainy maybe but November uh, yeah November mm. December Christmas time is wonderful Christmas. there but, yeah. oh yes I would love to go yeah. <laughs> now we are actually having Miss Philippines USA pageant here in November 20 21st oh, wow. what are your pageant tips for the future candidates well just be yourself all the time and prepare prepare a lot it's not only the physical training it's the mental training as well that you have to be um, able to just be strong you know and just be, be focused in the goal and just um, work for that because that's one time experience that you get to have and just do it for you do it for yourself because you deserve it you know any candidate that's there they have a purpose for sure yes. and they've been working also for their communities they want to create an impact and that makes them a winner so just keep on working that keep on just showing up and try to focus in the main things that are important that is like your mental health mm -hmm. and be healthy in like physical health and also just um, be yourself just show up in, in the interview and people are going to be really excited to get to know them you don't have to memorize answers <laughs> you just have to kind of like you have it in your head you yeah, know speak yeah from your heart mm -hmm. right? speak from your heart Speaking of um, being emotionally and mentally strong, like how do you deal with um, haters or you know people that may be negative? How do you maintain your positive attitude? Well, I understand that sometimes negative comments they come from a hurting soul, mm -hmm. and so I try to see it as an empathetic mm -hmm. way. So it's like when I put myself in their position, I just pray for them to be honest, and I'm like I just want them to find love to find God and just like to have a purpose you know and, and it uh, makes me kind of sad because right now we're we're all experiencing so much like hard moments mm -hmm. and I think it is like it's time for us to be a little bit more empathetic with each other to start just being kind to mm -hmm. each other and start supporting each other so for me it's like I don't put my energy towards that mm -hmm. I just try to um, to pray and to just hope that they can they can find that 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 oh they can fulfill that emptiness that they're having in their hearts you're so inspirational yeah. it's so beautiful oh, inside and out thank you. Oh. <laughs> any last words that you want to share with your supporters well thank you so much for your love your support you guys are the best i always read the messages i always read the comments and i just want you to know that you have a really amazing and big place in my heart where i keep all your love <laughs> Could you please also say um, thank you for watching Channel 18 Spotlight TV BFF? Is that okay, Lou? Okay. Thank Channel you for watching 18. Channel 18 Spotlight TV BFF. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for watching Ch uh, Channel 18 Spotlight TV BFF. Okay, like be best friends forever, yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah, but it's beauty, fashion, and favorites. <laughs> beauty, fashion. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you for watching Channel 18 Spotlight TV's BFF. Okay. Thank you for watching Channel 18. I was going to say Fashion TV. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Channel, Channel 18. 18 Spotlight TV BFF. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching Channel 18 Spotlight. Spotlight. Uh -huh. Okay. 
Thank you for watching Channel 18 Spotlight TV BFF. Yay! Yay! Thank you so Thank much. You. Lovely. <laughs>